Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. I hope you guys are great. I am great. I am in here working on my Mother's Day gifts, you guys. I finally gave in and ordered some of these flowers from Timu. Um, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys know that I get tons of flowers. Um, matter of fact, I got tons of them sitting right beside me. Um, from Dollar General, where I get, I've gotten quite a few of them, basically most of them for a penny. And then some of them, I paid um, 30 to 50, 60 cent for them. And it's a whole, um, a whole, you know, bunch. So, um... I was kind of hesitant about buying these because I was like, you know, I get the other ones so cheap and um, they are bigger and fuller. But the thing I like about these are because they're not made out of, well, the ones that I ordered anyway, are not made out of actual like silk flowers. You know how the other flowers are made like out of silk. They um, have a tendency to um, smash in when you're doing the baskets. Now, I don't have a big problem with that. Um, but I was like, let me try the foam ones to see, um, you know, how they would work inside of these baskets. So, I think the um, flowers are really, really cute. And you guys know that I love color. Okay. You know, I love mixing patterns. I love mixing colors. And um, so, that's what I'm going to do with this one. And I had already sat down last night because I was, excuse me, so tired from um, having um, been shop I have been shopping all day. So, I was really, really tired. Let's see if we can get this light in a little bit better. I was really, really tired. Um, so, I didn't feel like, you know, sitting up or anything working on any baskets. So, what I did was I got in my bed. And I propped up quite a few pillows and I began to just design random bows while I was in bed last night. Hey, y'all. So, I had to cut the video off. Gavin was at the door. Um, but, um, I don't know where I ended up. Oh, so, I ended up making bows last night while I was, um, while I was in bed. And that's something that you can do. Like, if you get brain fog and you can't really get designing... Or if you, you know, you're tired and you really don't feel like up making baskets, but you know, because we are in crunch time that you need to be doing something besides sitting on your fanny. This is something that you can do is make bows while you are in bed. Okay. And maybe you do not know how to design bows like this just of yet, but I promise you, if you stick around guys, you will learn how to make bows and practice makes perfect. Okay. Practice makes perfect. So just keep trying and keep practicing. There are tons of videos on my channel um, with making bows, even videos that may not say it's about making bows. We talk about bows on quite a bit of my channels because that's one of my um, pet peeves is about bows. So you will find tons and tons of tutorials on my channel about making bows, okay? Bows are a game changer. I'm going to keep preaching it. I'm going to keep teaching it. And guess what? If you haven't um, figured out how to do bows yet or you can't come across ribbon, maybe you can't afford ribbon, then grab you some pool bows, okay? I used to preach against pool bows, but pool bows are cute as well, you know? And it wasn't that I was preaching against them because I didn't like them, but I just feel like every crafter or every designer should um, have or learn, try to learn or grasp the ability of making bows. So if you can't do it, um, and you don't have any other way, then by all means, get you some pool bows because pool bows are cute and professional as well. I've seen some really, really, um, cute baskets with pool bows. So just make sure that you have something on the top to embellish your basket, even if it's just some mesh material. Okay. So I think this right here, once I put this up here, it's going to come out really, really well. So this is what the point I want to make on this video. And the point I want to make is... Whether it's better, sometimes there is confusion. I see questions sometimes in my comments. Um, there is a confusion sometimes whether you should be using bags or if you should be using um, cellophane rolls, okay? Like this. Some people are more comfortable with bags while others are more comfortable with cellophane. I'm going to say the same thing about cellophane and, and bags as I say about bows, okay? And keep in mind, this is Boss Lady Fee's way of teaching, okay? Um, 
You want to be well versatile, okay? And I'm going to tell you one main legit reason why. Um, let's think about when the pandemic came, right? When the pandemic came, some things were you were not able to buy. Some companies you were able to buy things from, you were no longer, longer able to buy them or the supply was very, very limited, right? So let's just say that the only way you knew how to design was with cellophane wrap, all right? You didn't know how to use bags or vice versa because using a bag, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, you just stick your item in the bag. If the bag is too big, you either cut it or you just kind of tape it down to size, right? But with the cellophane, it's a little bit more complex. It requires a little bit more skill. Um, and it can be a little bit more challenging. But let's just say that during the pandemic, you were not able to get bags. You were only able to get cellophane wrap, right? Um, or even if you weren't able to get cellophane wrap, but you were able to come across tool. That's why I teach you guys to know versatile ways of... Um, doing whatever it is that you do let's say for instance right what you're doing your bows um because the bow dabbers are very very popular now great great tool for making bows if you have challenges with making bows as long as you get a bow made right um but let's just say um you have a bow dabber right and what if the bow dabber breaks and you in the middle of your business you in the middle of um a holiday and you need to order another one. And maybe Amazon can't get it to you overnight. It may take them two, three, four days to get it to you. So you you are going to be sitting there without the ability to put a bow on your basket. Or sitting there without the ability to make a basket. Because you only have one way to do it. So that's why I teach what I teach. Not that I'm against different ways or different techniques. Because whatever works, works. What's the old saying? There's more than one way to skin a cat, right? But know all the ways to skin the cat. If you can skin him with a knife, know how to use a knife. If you can skin him with a fork, know how to use it with a fork. If you can skin him with a spatula, you need to know all of those ways. So if your spatula break, if your fork bend, you see where I'm going with this. You will not be challenged in your gift, but you will be well versatile to do what you need to do. Let's just say you are at a function, right? Let's say you're at a function and you are vending and for some reason, one of your bows unravel or come loose or your plastic comes loose and you're sitting there. Maybe you left your bow dabber at home. Maybe you left your wrap at home. What you going to do? Are you going to not sell that basket? Somebody's standing there to buy it, but when they picked it up, for some reason, you didn't, you know, tie it tight. Or they picked it up in the plastic rip. Oh my gosh, I don't have any bags handy. Are you going to freak out? Or are you going to know different methods in different ways? When a bag rip, there's a way to repair it without having to have another bag. That's why it's so imperative that you keep tape, that you keep scissors, you keep extra wrap with you when you go out on these vending events. Because you ain't going to have time to take all this stuff out and put it in a whole nother bag. If it's not a great major problem, stick you a piece of wide transparent tape up there and call it a day. It'll blend right on in with the plastic. Versatile ways, okay? This is the game. This is the gift game that you want to have versatile ways of creating and making your baskets. Let's just say you can't come up with no ribbon. What are you going to do? Are you going to not have bows? No, you're going to learn how to create with tool. You're going to learn how to create with mesh. You're going to learn how to create with different types of fabric, okay? So keep all of these things in mind. You want to be well-rounded in your craft, all right? You want to be a master of your craft. That's what we call a master trader, a masterminder, a math master gift designer. You are well versatile in your gift. You ain't going to get there overnight, okay? You ain't going to, you might not get there in five or 10 years, but those are all things you want to be working towards. So learn how to use cellophane, learn how to make bows, learn how to make different kinds of bows, learn how to use different kinds of bags. If your bag is too big, you going to buy 10, 15 different sizes of bags? No. Learn how to cut your bags down, tape them, and make it work. Because if not, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of supplies that you may never use, okay? Now, if you are a skilled gift designer and this is your mainstream of income, 
by all means, you know, we do that, okay? We buy a bunch of different stuff because we know that we're going to use it. But if you're kind of new in this and you don't really know which way the ball is going to bounce, don't invest a whole lot of your hard-earned money into something that you're not quite sure about, okay? Um, I just wanted to make sure that that was the only pointer that I wanted to make in this video. I think so. And um, one of my subscribers, I just thought about this, one of my subscribers yesterday said... You um you must watch Shant and I don't know why she said it Shant the Queen face it and I got to thinking in the video I said I don't know you know why she said it I don't know if it was because I was rapping or rhyming in the video because we all know that Shant loves to rap right well if you followed me from the beginning of this journey y'all know that's something I used to say all the time like I feel like that was who I was called to be was a rapper in my um other life. <laughs> Jokey joke joke. Okay. I can't beat my rap, honey. I can't beat my sing. Now I would like to think I could dance just a little bit, right? But that's the only thing I could think of that she was saying. Um, because I was rapping. But guys, listen, that's my character. Maybe you're new on the scene and you haven't seen that side of me. Keep in mind, y'all, I lost my soulmate of 28 years a little over a year ago. So I'm kind of just getting back um, to the me, 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 okay? I've been I've always been a cheerful, joyful, rapping, singing, dancing mm, 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 type of girl. If y'all go back on my channel, for those of you that are just meeting me or new to subscribing, you will see what type of lady, boss lady fee really is, okay? Um, but like I said, I'm just kind of getting back into myself. I've, I've, I would like to think that I've still been joyful and I've been happy on my videos. But the truth of the matter is this is one of the biggest blows that I've ever taken. One of the hardest hits that I've taken in my life. She survived to tell her story. All right. So keep in mind, you may see some new things new to you, but not new to my OGs that's been with me for a while. Y'all know when I first came up here, honey, I thought I was grandmaster flash i thought i was mc light okay because <laughs> i used to rap all the time i was like y'all listen this is just me couldn't beat my rap honey but i thought i could so i don't know if that's what she was talking about but i was so i was so tickled when i read it because I, I was thinking back in the video like what was i doing or what was i saying that was like sean so maybe that's what it was but yeah this is boss lady fee guys okay this is my real true character. I love to dance. I love to laugh. If you know me, you know. Okay. But anyway, and to answer your question, yes, I do watch Sean in my free time. When I have time, I watch all of the amazing um ladies that's on this platform that are positive. Okay. um, That I'm not going to get into calling names, but my girls know who I'm rocking with and I appreciate you guys so much. There's some people I don't know that I have not been introduced to their page or their channel yet. But I look forward to meeting all of you guys in the comments. I look forward to meeting you guys while I'm traveling. Um, for those of you that really don't know me, I've started to travel. I've started to teach and do business seminars and different things. I will be um, in Warner Robins, Georgia back in September, guys. I'll do more talking about that after Mother's Day. But I can tell you to go ahead and set the date. Set your calendar. Set your reminder for September the 28th. September the 27th, 27th through the 29th, Boss Lady Fee will be back in the state of Georgia, guys. We had an amazing time in, what was it, March when I was there, and we're going to have a slamming, slamming good time. I'm actually having my birthday party in Georgia, guys. You want to go ahead, set you some coins aside, Mother's Day rolling around. Y'all going to be reaching those five figures. If not five, you're going to be in them fours, baby. I'm prophesying right now. Um, so go ahead and set you some coins aside so y'all can come and jam 90 style with Boss Lady Fee and all of the other Boss Ladies, okay? Guys, I'm going to get off this video. I love you guys so much. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>